In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the length of a company's cash conversion cycle. So to get the cash conversion cycle, you begin with the number of days it takes a company to sell its inventory. Then you add to that the day's sales outstanding, which again is the number of days it takes for a company to collect its accounts receivable. So these two together, if you remember, these are the operating cycle. Okay, this is the operating cycle for a company. So it's basically saying how many days it takes a company not only to sell the inventory, but then to collect the cash from the outstanding accounts receivable, right? We're assuming that the customers bought the inventory on credit, okay? But then once we have the operating cycle, we then subtract the days payable outstanding. That's the number of days it takes the company to pay its suppliers for the inventory. Okay, so it's the operating cycle minus the days payable outstanding. All right, why is this important? Well, basically, if you think about this conceptually, and I'll show you a timeline in a minute, what we're doing here is we're measuring the amount of time, the difference between when the company pays cash for the inventory and the time when it actually receives cash for the inventory from its customers. The longer that, that difference is, like the bigger this number is for the cash conversion cycle, the larger and lar the longer number of days that it is, that's more days that the company is going to have to find a way to finance itself. It's going to need cash on hand because it's still waiting for cash uh, from, from the inventory for its customers because it's got outstanding receivables. Let me show you with a timeline. I know this probably sounds very complicated, but it's actually not that difficult. All right. Let's say you have a company uh, called Flying Scooters and they purchase flying scooters from manufacturers and then they sell them to other companies, okay? So this Flying Scooters company, it takes them 36 days to sell inventory, okay? So we've got 36 days to sell inventory and then once they've sold the inventory, on average, it takes 24 days before they actually collect payment in, in form of cash from those customers, okay? So the operating cycle would be 60, right? 60 days here. 36 days to sell the inventory, 24 days in addition to actually collect from the customers. So we take the 36 and the 24, that's the operating cycle, that's 60, but then we subtract the 19. The 19 is saying, look, this company, they, they pay, so when they buy that inventory, they're buying it on credit. Right, they're buying it. They're these flying scooters from manufacturers on credit is taking them 19 days before they pay that that back. So if we if we get this here, we've got 41. Okay, so 41 is our cash conversion cycle. What does that mean? Well, let, let me draw out a timeline for you. So day zero, the company obtains its inventory. Okay, day zero, I just mean the beginning. Okay, so right here they obtain inventory. They buy it on credit. From their suppliers from the companies that actually manufacture these scooters flying scooters purchases the scooters uh the the, the scooters are inventory to flying scooters they purchase them on credit from the suppliers okay now 19 days later and how do we know 19 because that's a day's payable outstanding for this company 19 days later flying scooters pays cash for the inventory so it bought the inventory here on credit it pays cash for the inventory 19 days later. Why is that important? Because, look, if we think about this company in terms of managing its cash, right? Remember, if a company ever runs out of cash, it will go bankrupt. So it's very important that a company manage its cash well. So it's paying out cash here. But it's not actually receiving cash until here, 60 days in, right? Because they, they sell the inventory uh, 36 days in, but then there's another 24 days before they actually collect the cash from the customers. Okay, so the, we've got 60 is the length of the operating cycle. That's when it, it gets us inventory, but it's not actually going to get cash for that inventory until day 60. Okay, but it paid out cash for the inventory on day 19. Okay, so if we look at this amount here, this amount of time. That's the 41 days. That's the cash conversion cycle. So again, why is this important? That means that, look, think about it practically. This company is paying cash for the inventory here, but it's not actually getting cash for the inventory until 41 days later. Okay, so what does that mean? 
for 41 days, that company has to find a way to finance itself. It needs cash. For, it needs to borrow money. It needs you know cash from prior operations. It somehow needs cash so that they don't go bankrupt in that 41 days. Okay. So the the higher this number is, the lo the longer the cash conversion cycle is, the more time that the company needs to finance itself. And so I was going to you know a longer time horizon. If this was like 49 days, then the company would need even more cash because it needs to hold out until the point in time where it actually collects cash from its customers.